guys, I'm Laura Vitale, and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, we're giving an Italian spin on an American classic, not that I came up with this recipe to begin with, but it's some ricotta pancakes. Think of it like an Italian cheesecake in pancake form. That's how I like to think of them. They're incredibly delicious, and if you've got ricotta on hand, chances are you've got the rest of the ingredients. So let me take you over them so we can get this thing started. Any all-purpose flour, baking powder, salt, some whole milk ricotta, eggs that I've separated into yolks and whites, lemon, vanilla extract, a little bit of sugar, and then for the topping, which is totally optional, I've got some fresh blueberries, a little bit of additional sugar, some fresh mint, but that is completely optional. You can top this with maple syrup if you wanted to. I love the kind of freshness from the blueberries. It's just delicious. I don't cook them down into like a syrup. I just macerate them, which is actually going to be the first thing we do so that they can kind of get all those juices flowing. Now, taste your blueberries. I'm going to taste one like I already haven't eaten a whole handful of them. These are pretty sweet. They need a little bit more sugar. About a tablespoon should be plenty for this. And then, before I actually squeeze the juice of the lemon, I'm going to zest this one into this bowl because it's easier to zest a lemon before you cut it and juice it, otherwise it's kind of a pain. Okay, I'm actually just doing half a batch of pancakes to get today just for my husband and I, but the recipe on laurainthekitchen.com will be written for a family of four to six. Okay, and I'm just going to take a little bit of the lemon juice, squeeze the juice into the berries. This is just a really sort of fresh note to the pancakes, I think it just tastes delicious, but like I said, don't feel like you have to do this part. And I'm trying to get a mop in here. And just because I have some fresh mint right back there, I'm just going to take a few of the leaves and just kind of tear them in. This is just very bright and delicious, and I really, really enjoy. So this is the topping for me. This is what I like. This is done. I can smell the mint. It smells incredible. So I'm going to set that aside and get to working on the actual pancake batter. Now what I'm going to do first is take my egg whites into this bowl and I'm going to whip these up using my handheld electric whisk here or mixer until the egg whites have developed nice stiff peaks. And I'll show you what they look like when they're there. All right, these look good. Flip them over your head. If they don't fall, they're stiff peaks. Okay, so. In the bowl that I zested my lemon in, I'm going to add in my ricotta. And I think the whole milk ricotta does make a difference, but you can try using a part skim. I never have, so I really wouldn't be able to say whether it works as well, but I can't imagine it wouldn't. So, ricotta, egg yolks, touch of vanilla, just a little bit, not too much. There you go. And the reason why I'm not using my vanilina, my little bag, is because I don't like to leave them open and I wouldn't need a whole bag for this. So, touch of sugar, just a couple tablespoons. And I'm just going to use the same mixer here to whisk this all up. Adding in our dry ingredients. Mix those in. It's going to be a thick batter, but don't worry. It ends up working in the end. I'm going to add a touch of milk that I did have out, but sometimes I wonder where my noodle is, you know? But just a little bit of milk, just a couple of tablespoons, just gives a little extra movement. Okay, this is good. I'm just going to take my spatula, fold whatever's on the sides right in, and then we're going to fold in the egg whites. This is going to make them sort of light and delicious and fluffy and everything a good pancake should be. So I'm just going to fold these in and I also have my grill, my little griddle here. This is a non-stick griddle that I have. I've got that preheating over about medium heat. A piece of mint in there. Totally okay with me. All right, I'm not going to go too crazy because I don't want to mix the egg whites so much that I deflate them because what was the purpose of us, you know, getting them to nice stiff peaks just to deflate them anyway. That looks amazing. And then what I have here is a stick of butter. Don't worry, I'm not going to melt the whole stick. It just makes it easier just to brush it like so. I only have my very front burner on, so that's why I'm only keeping it right at the front. And then I just take a little quarter cup measuring cup and uh, form little pancakes onto my uh, griddle. 
bump this up a little bit more. Okay, now I'm going to do one batch at a time, kind of keep an eye on them. They only take a couple of minutes on each side. You're looking for each side to be a lovely golden brown color. Then keep on moving to the second batch and in the meantime I'm going to clean up and get my plate and fork ready. <laughs> my last of my pancakes are ready to go. Look, how, I'm actually just going to take these two right here, only because they've cooled a little bit. Look how lovely and fluffy and gorgeous. Look at this one. Mm. Pretty excited about that. Now what I'm going to do, again, optional. You put some maple syrup on this baby, be delicious. I'm going to put a little bit of powdered sugar. This is how I like to serve them anyway. Oh, I, I got a spoon. That won't do. We need a fork. And then some of these beautiful fresh blueberries with a lemon and mint. Whoa. Mmm. Oh yeah. Come to mama. Mmm. I could eat this all day, every day, for every meal and be completely thrilled. Ooh, baby. Mmm. Super fluffy. Almost creamy, but not really. That ricotta just is so, makes the inside so velvety smooth. The hint of lemon, it is like a combination made in food heaven. Go to laurainthekitchen.com to get this recipe. Make it for a weekend breakfast for your family. I hope you enjoy as much as we do around here. I hope you enjoy spending time with me. Go to laurainthekitchen.com to get the recipe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.